If you want to stitch fun three-dimensional pieces like this container with the lid, you'll want to stitch on plastic canvas. Today, I'm going to share what you need to get started stitching on plastic canvas. Welcome to Eva to Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Stitching on plastic canvas is a fun way to make three-dimensional pieces or to do some hand embroidery when you might have vision or dexterity issues or you just want a quick and easy project. If you're just getting started with plastic canvas or you just want to play around with some different colors and stitching techniques, then I recommend just cutting some squares, stitching whatever you want on them, stitch around the edge, and you have some fun little coasters. That is a great way to learn and experiment with options. So here's some tips for stitching on plastic canvas. When you're stitching on plastic canvas, you will probably have to cut a piece down to size. So when you're cutting, you can just use regular craft scissors and it just easily cuts. But make sure you're cutting right on the edge of one of the bars. So you don't want to cut in the middle of the row because then your edge that you have will have all these little nubs on the end of it. So if you cut right on the edge, then you'll have a smooth bar on the end and that will make it a lot easier when you're finishing your project. So I'm just gonna cut out a little square here. And now we can get started stitching that. So to stitch on plastic canvas, you're gonna need a yarn needle. So you want something with a long eye and a dull tip. It doesn't have to be short because we're not piercing anything. We're just pushing it through the holes that are already made in the canvas. So the best thing to use with plastic canvas is a medium weight knitting yarn and just make sure that the eye of the needle is large enough to accommodate the yarn. Now, because of how this canvas is, we're not going to start stitching with a knot. A knot wouldn't be as secure. Um, and so we need to finish off the edge of our thread in some other way. And so we're going to use what's called a waist knot. So it is a knot, but it's a knot that is only there temporarily. So we will uh, make a knot on the edge of our thread and then just put this on your front side over just in a corner somewhere. And then we can start stitching over here. And when we've done some stitches, we'll cut off that knot and then um, weave in the tail of the thread. And now there are different stitches that you can use on plastic canvas. One of the most common is just a little diagonal stitch that goes over the intersection. And so it's just a little stitch like this. And this is a stitch that will fill in the whole piece. If you have a pattern for this, it might have little diagonal lines marked, or it might just look like uh, pixels on a grid. So you'll just follow the pattern you might have different colors if you're making something that looks like a picture, but that is a very common basic stitch. You can also use some other stitches that are brought over from needlepoint canvas. And so some of these uh, will be a little bit fancier. They'll take up a little bit more space. And so here's an example of a diagonal stitch that makes little squares. So we'll have three diagonal stitches that are getting bigger, and then a diagonal stitch is getting smaller. 
and so we can see there is our block that is made. Then we can make another one. So this is another fun way to fill in a whole section. It's a little bit more interesting than these diagonal stitches. So there's a lot of different options with diagonal stitches. When you've reached the end of your stitching, either the end of the thread or the end of the section, then to finish, you just weave the end of the thread into the back of the stitches that are there and then cut off the end. And then the waist knot, you can come back, cut off the waist knot and then do the same on the back of the piece. You'll weave in the end of the thread. So we'll see that these diagonal stitches on are straight on the back. They're diagonal on the front, straight on the back. These ones are diagonal on the front and slightly diagonal on the back, but a little bit different. So just weave that in and then we're finished. So diagonal stitches are um, a good option, but you can also use straight stitches, either vertical or horizontal. Straight stitches are what is used in Bargello stitching. So I have some other videos about that. But you'll also again, start off with a waist knot and then your stitches will go up and down instead of diagonal. And so you can see there's a lot of different heights. You could go over um, two bars. You could go over just one bar. You could go over three bars. It depends on your pattern and the project that you're doing. Now you'll notice with this, when you're doing vertical and horizontal stitching, the plastic canvas does show up more in the middle. So you might wanna use a thicker yarn for that because in plastic canvas, usually you wanna cover the whole canvas. Usually you don't want the canvas to be visible. So you might want to use a thicker yarn or two strands of yarn if you're doing vertical um, stitching so that the canvas isn't as visible. When you're stitching, whether it's diagonal stitches or straight stitches, you do want to pay attention to your tension. So tension has to do with how much you pull the thread. And we can really see this difference here with the vertical stitches. If I pull that thread really tightly, then you can see it's gonna to look totally different than when I have it a little bit loose. So looser stitches will have um, better coverage on your plastic canvas. So if you don't like how your stitches look, try either tightening or loosening your tension and see if that looks a little bit better for you. So diagonal and vertical stitches are what's used to fill in your piece. But when you fill in your piece, then you're gonna have this little um, border around the edge. Sometimes you'll just finish this off like a frame, or if you're making a three-dimensional project, you might be adding this, attaching it to another piece. So when you do that, you're gonna be using overcast stitch. So overcast stitch just means you're stitching in the same direction. So your thread is going over your piece. And if you were joining two pieces together, you would want to make sure that the holes line up exactly. And then you would just take the stitch through both pieces at the same time. And so this is what will um, attach them together. In some pieces, you might attach many pieces together to make a complex object, but that is how you're going to join them together with overcast stitch. So no matter what kind of stitching you do, whether you use diagonal stitches or straight stitches, stitching on plastic canvas makes a fun and easy project.
have fun playing around with different stitches and color combinations. Once you've seen how easy it is, you'll want to get started with the thousands of different projects that are available for Plastic Canvas. Have fun with this embroidery technique, and for more embroidery inspiration and tutorials, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com. Thank you.